Hello friends, welcome to CEC Live Lectures. Dear friends, with our ongoing series on financial accounting, today we are going to talk on trial balance. We are going to understand what trial balance is as well as we would be covering the error portions with the trial errors, uh, trial balance too. And at the end, we will deal with the practical cases. For the discussion on the topic, we have with us in our studios Dr. Amarjeet Kaur. Dr. Amarjeet Kaur is a professor of uh, accounting and she is teaching in one of the leading institutions of the country. She is a certified management accountant from USA and is an author of uh, numerous books on accounting. Friends, uh, she is a dynamic professor who believes in giving her best. So let's take advantages from her experiences and try to understand what a trial balance is. Now I would like to welcome our guest, Dr. Marjit Kaur, and would request her to give us an in-depth knowledge on the topic. Sure, sure, Gittika. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, very good morning to you all and welcome uh, on board for yet another session in accounting, in financial accounting. Uh, we shall be talking about trial balance. Uh, the flow of talk would be that uh, I will be introducing the concept and followed by uh, identifying errors uh, in preparation of trial balance, both which are identifiable and the ones which are not identifiable. And thereafter, we will take cases. So this will be the flow of the talk. So uh, friends, let's recall the discussion we had so far in our previous nine lectures in financial accounting. You know, you need to recall at least basics we had discussed so far. This is the 10th lecture in the series. And today we are talking trial balance, which is basically, you know, the third step. First step was we were, you know, we talked about recording of financial transactions. Any transaction, any business transaction happening, which if we identify any transaction as business transaction, then we would record it in the, uh, in the business records, in the accounts. Then followed by, once we have recorded it, then we prepare our books of accounts in ledger book. So that ledger is basically having different set of accounts pertaining to all three categories of accounts. So that was the second step which we are through now. The, once we are ready with our ledger book, the third thing is that we transfer these account balances from the ledger book to the book known as trial balance. So trial balance is the third step in the accounting process. So this is the background, right? So what do we do here and what is trial balance? That is the next question. So trial balance is basically a statement. It's not an account. Kindly mark my words. I'm saying it's a statement, right? Statement comprising what? A statement which is comprising account balances of different accounts which were opened in the ledger book, right? So we have hundred and thousand of accounts by which were which were opened in the ledger book, we balanced them and then we are transferring the balance of those accounts to the new book, new statement which is known as ledger. So here this is actually doing the summarizing function of accounting because the recording is basically the first function where we were doing generalizing is doing recording. Recording is the first function and the first function is being performed in the book named journal. The second function was posting. The posting has been performed in the book named ledger. The third function in accounting is summarizing and this has been performed in the book named trial balance, right? So we are doing the third function, performing the third function of summarizing. It means its statement is a summary of account balances we have, uh, you know, opened in the ledger book. So the question is, how do we balance our accounts? We opened 100,000 of accounts. In the last lecture, which was a couple of days ago, uh, we had uh, taken up small cases where we opened accounts in the book uh, ledger. So accounts were opened. We did not talk about balancing of that account because I intend to cover it with the trial balance itself. So balancing of account is a simple mathematical uh, function. What do we do? We have two sides of account. One is debit side, another is credit side, right? So we debit, uh, we total the debit values. You know, we may have 100 items, we may have only 10 items or only 2 items, right? So we will total all, or we will sum up all the values on the debit side. 
we will sum up all the values on the credit side and either of them is going to be higher most likely if they are not uh, you know matching then they are not having the equal value there is quite a possibility that we have uh, you know equal value on the both the side debit is equal to credit side value but in most of the cases we would have either debit side higher or the credit side higher right so how would we balance balance means we would find out the difference of the side and would write in the side which is smaller in value and the accounts balance would be known by the side which is higher in value i will repeat the difference first step would be to total the sum uh, sum up or the total of the values on both the side second is find the difference see what is the difference exact amount which side is having higher value because if the difference is there one side is higher right obviously so so third is observe which side is higher then write the value you know difference that value of difference on the side which was smaller in value and lastly you will say you will you know you will present the information in a way that account has a a uh, credit balance or debit balance depending on which side is higher if my debit if the total of debit side is higher i would say my account balance is debit so cash has debit account balance machinery has de you know debit account balance if my credit side is higher i would say my sales account ha is having credit value my debentures are having credit value my provisions are having my credit you know credit balance so this is how it goes so this is known as balancing so these balances are so what is the net value with you in your hand is the difference of two sides if two sides are equal so the, the account doesn't have any balance so that will not go to trial balance only those accounts which are having either debit or credit side higher would then move to the next book trial balance and when we put them together in this statement in this book you know this would be known as trial balance a summary of account balances okay i hope you are with me now so how do we define trial balance has has been discussed what is the nature how, what function does this trial balance do so then as far as nature is uh, concern is a, is is a statement which summarizes account balances gives us a, you know handy information Uh, once uh, the accounts have been balanced and the third thing is that this uh, trial balance becomes basis for preparation of financial statements this is uh, the biggest advantage the most important thing your you know uh, financial statements are prepared with the help of trial balance only so this is a kind of essential function uh, essential link between financial statement and the ledger posting all right so this is the nature of the trial balance you can have a look uh, at the you know slide here this will give you a summary what what i just has briefed you uh, you know uh, it is saying clearly that trial balance is uh, is a summary containing different account balances it means it would have debit balances it would have credit balances both So the next question is what are which all types of accounts are supposed to be having debit balance which all types of accounts are supposed to be having credit balances for this you would have to recall the discussions we had in the past i said there are five important elements in financial statements one is assets second is <coughs> liabilities third is equity fourth is revenue and fifth is expenses so we have five account balances uh, account uh, five elements or five variables in financial statements so out of this five variables uh, two variables which are assets and expenses they are having normal balance as debit balance it means if there is no mistake if everything has been done correct so far recording as well as posting 
so any account which pertain to any expense say rent say interest charges say wages salaries you may assume any expense we are expecting the the no expense account with any names so irrespective to have normal balance as debit balance means if we balance the uh, an account which pertain to an expense the debit side of the account should be higher than the credit side so as i said the difference would, would you know accounts balance is known by the difference and this difference would be written on the smaller side in the side which is having lower value okay so so first thing is ex- out of the five element expenses are supposed to be having debit balance as a concept which, which has been discussed in the past the second account ty- type of account which is expected to have debit balance is your assets account either this is you know cash or this is a fixed asset like non current assets like uh, uh, land building machinery plant fixtures furniture you name it anyone right so it is going to have debit normal balance there's one exception bank balance generally is supposed to be having debit balance but if we are availing overdraft facility there's a possibility that bank account has credit balance but that happens only if there's a bank overdraft facility be availed otherwise this rule remains same now the rest of the three items in variables in elements we have creditors we have you know we have they all are liabilities we have debentures we have long term borrowings so they all are liabilities so liabilities one set of accounts then equity and then revenue sales revenue especially sales turn- turnover i'm talking so this is supposed to be having a credit normal balance so if there's no mistake been committed so far and if you balance your account which pertains to either to liabilities or equity that is capital or pertains to uh, your revenue sales revenue we should have credit normal balance okay so if you total either of the account under these three category the credit side should be higher than the debit side okay so this is what is you know balancing and the link between trial balance and the balance of an account now as i discuss the nature the next thing is that how do we uh, you know how do we record in the trial balance and also that what all possibilities are there of mistakes errors in trial balance prima facie we assume that trial balance if no mistake if the two sides of the trial balance trial balance also have two sides debit balances and credit balances we have account balance this is not an account mind you this is a statement so i'm not saying debit side and credit side i am saying one column <coughs> presenting debit balances and the second column presenting uh, credit balances should match if there's no mistake and if they are matching can we assume there's no mistake has actually been uh, you know uh, committed this is a million dollar question so prima facie if the two sides debit balances and credit balances are matching then it is expected then it is assumed that trial balance is arithmetically correct right nevertheless there is still a possibility if two sides are matching even then there is a possibility that we have committed some error in preparation of our books of accounts either in recording level or posting level or at at the level when we are transferring balance from the ledger book to the trial balance so at one or the other level there's a possibility that in, in that some kind of mistake some time kind of error being committed so that is the agenda now that i would like to discuss what all kind or types of errors are possible what what types of error are identifiable and what type of error goes unnoticed you know unidentified so that is what we are would be talking now so uh, ha- have a look at this one example in front of you if we have this statement given to you a transaction given to you that a cash payment of dollar 450 been paid for rent so rent is what rent is an expense to you right so what would be the correct entry for this transaction 
the correct entry should be as shown here on the slide that rent expense is debited by for $450 and cash has been credit credit cash for $450 rent is an expense is a normal balance of expenses is debit so considering for that rule which we have been discussed so far we have applied the rule of the norm, of the entry normal you know balance rule and the rent has been debited and cash has been credited right now let's identify i'm going to discuss seven different situation in the following slides let's identify which of the uh, you know are uh, out of the seven uh, uh, transaction i'm quote going to quote which of them is uh, basically uh, easy to be identified you know while preparing the trial balance we can you know after completed the trial balance we can identify that some mistake has been committed so there are seven type of errors i am going to discuss the first error is written in front of you is error of original entry or we call it as error of prime entry so what would happen the same example i will quote in a different situation now the actual and the correct entry as i said for this transaction should have been rent to be debited and cash to be credited for 450 right this is the correct entry you just have a look note down so amount is 450 rent was to be debited cash was to be credited but in actual when we did the entry what did we do instead of 450 we debited 490 and we credited 490 rent account has been debited cash so there is no mistake when it comes to type of accounts right so this is so no error in principle has been committed applying the principles of uh, accounting but what kind of error has been committed we we have written incorrect value we have written 490 in in lieu of 450 right so this becomes this is known as entry of you know error of prime entry or original entry so this cannot be identified in the trial balance because both the side would match and you would never be able to find out unless you carry an analysis that actually some mistake has been committed okay the second possibility the second type of error is transposition error that is this uh, uh, you know the numbers have been transposed so in one side we have written a wrong value so rent so what will happen say for example rent was supposed to be debited by 450 instead of 450 you written 540 right so we transposed 4 by 5 5 by 4 so it should have been 415 but it is 540 right my cursor is showing it so we transposed this value on the debit side credit is correct we did not debit the wrong account we did not credit the wrong account both rent was debited cash was credited as it was supposed to be you now following the principles of accounting recording but in one side which was the debit side instead of writing 450 we transposed it as 540 so this type of error is known as error of transposition this type of error will lead to both side of trial balance not matching right if you have if you have done this mistake the two sides of trial balance would not match and this can be identified because the difference of two sides would be divisible by 9 the digit 9 i am giving you a tip so you if the first step you know if you are an accountant you are doing a bookkeeping job first thing is just look at the difference the value of the difference of debit balances and credit balances and divide it with the number 9 if it is divisible by number 9 it means the error of transposition has been committed so then it becomes easier for accountant to identify the mistake error okay so this type of error is identifiable wherever the first type of error was not identifiable while preparing the trial balance let's go to the third situation third situation is that uh, we recorded only one side which we call as single entry you recorded either rent or so here is shown in on in front of you on the slide single entry means either the rent has been debited 
or cash has been credited the second part of the transaction has not been recorded it has not gone to the account and it has not come down to the account balances in the trial balance so so it is a link so recording then posting and then trial balance they all are interconnected as we have discussed okay so you recorded either the rent debit or you recorded the cash credited so what will happen you have a single entry this type of error is again identifiable because two sides of trial balance would not match so this is an identifiable error okay now the fourth error of omission to post amount to the ledger so you omitted in the fourth one what is happening you neither uh, debited rent nor credited you know cash so you were supposed to debit rent by 450 you were supposed to credit cash by 450 you omitted error of omission means you omitted you forgot you forgot to do either of the part in the recording definitely nothing has happened in the uh, in the ledger book and consequently as a result of this mistake which was which which was you know uh, which was committed at the level of recording it will lead till the trial balance and we will not have you know either debit or credit part of this uh, transaction in uh, in trial balance and both side of trial balance would match it's quite obvious to understand if i have omitted to record both the side my trial balance would actually match i would never come to know that i have forgot to record uh, one important entry this is just 450 just imagine it is 450 uh you know lakhs 450 crores 450 you know uh, crores in in dollars so it you just imagine the amount and just imagine the effect right so there's a possibility that you omitted both the side and such errors are known as error of omission and they can never be identified with the help of trial balance okay let's go to the fifth the fifth error possibility is that both the entries on the same site so what were we supposed to do in this transaction we were supposed to record rent on the debit side cash on the credit side so what did you do actually you put rent on the debit side which was a correct uh, recording but you have put uh, you have recorded cash also on debit side so what has happened cash has also been debited by mistake of course and and the rent has also been debited which is not a mistake which was supposed to be like this only so now you have you not know, instead of 450 as a total on the debit side you have 900 on the debit side so certainly your account balance your trial balance would not match and this error can also be identified this is the third and the only Um, you know one more error which can be identified with the help of trial balance itself without carrying any further analysis so what will happen the difference would be you know divisible by number 9 because if the 900 it would be divisible by 9 and it was is double is double of 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 the actual amount right uh, and difference would be half of the amount okay so uh, it is going to be identified by while preparing the trial balance and it can be corrected with certain observations so this is the fifth transaction you know where the error is possibility the sixth one error of commission so have a look at the slide it says error of commission so what happens error of commission that you entered one side in the wrong account but not in the wrong type of account So wrong account and wrong type of account are two different things let's discuss this error of commission means you know you were supposed to debit what in actually in actual you were supposed to debit rent because the expense was rent but what did you actually do for example you debited wages you may have debited salaries you may have debited interest they all are expenses right so instead of writing the actual expense name which was rent you debited some other expense so which is principally not incorrect which is principally correct because as far as type of account is there it is correct 
but when it comes to the actual name of because in posting i discussed very clearly that when we are posting we have to have you know the name of the account with the same spelling which we opened in the recording part we cannot have the difference in the spelling even forget about that you know a type of account or other other any other thing so it's important that we open with the same spelling so it means uh, having you know debiting this wages account instead of rent account is certainly a mistake you did not committed a mistake of principal principally you know nominal account should have a debit balance you you debited it but you did not debit rent in instead you have debited either wage salary interest or any other expense account and you have credited cash as it is showing so this particular error would be known commission or uh, error of commission and it can never be actually identified with the help of uh, your trial balance okay now the seventh number error the error of principal so in the previous in the sixth number error what did we do we debited wages and we credited cash here in the seventh one you know if you look at we can debit anything but the nominal account we are debiting for example asset assets have normal balance as debit balance right i i debited property i debited building i debited say for example furniture fixture plant machinery so they all are supposed to be having debit balance and you did that you debited the amount amount is correct there's no difference in the amount there's no difference in the amount on the credit side as well even the credit side is completely correct the cash is there but the debit side should have been uh, rent instead of rent it is now property so this particular error is known as error of principal because principally you are supposed to be debiting a nominal account not a a set account not an asset account because an asset is we all know what an asset is so asset is a possession you know where which has been controlled by and managed by the management which is expected to give some future uh, you know inflow or ca uh, cash flow to the to the to the business uh, your expense is not supposed to be you know controlled it is something just a nominal thing so principally we committed a mistake by debiting Uh, our property account in this example we credited right account cash account now what will the what will be the effect on the trial balance my trial balance would match and this particular error would not be identifiable because my my debit side you no know, uh, trial balance is having debit balance of 450 which is supposed to be but instead of having it in the rent account it is having in the property account so my account will certainly and cash is supposed to be having 450 in the credit side and it it was on the credit side because cash was going down so uh, the normal balance of cash is deb debit and to reduce it it was to be credited right so this this particular error would not be identifiable uh, in the trial balance so just to conclude i would say error number 2 3 and 5 out of the seven errors we just discussed if you have taken the picture of the slides i have shown you all the seven type of errors out of the seven you know in the conclusion it is written error number 2 3 and 5 at the bottom it is there are going to be you know revealed while preparing trial balance the remaining errors the error of you know uh, either uh, you know omitting completely or principal errors or the error of uh, just commission they are not going to be identified so this is all about trial balance and errors uh, uh, no identification in trial balance thank you very much for being with us for this these uh, minutes for this one thank you ma'am thank you so very much for giving us this uh, session on trial balance, balance dear friends we will be back after a short break and would be discussing more till then uh, keep watching us thank you
Hello friends, welcome back to this session. Dear friends, as you know that today we are talking on trial balance and uh, in previous session we discussed what trial balance is as well as try to understand uh, the types of uh, errors too. Friends, uh, taking the session forward, uh, in this session we are going to talk on the practical cases uh, dealing with the trial balances and for the discussion on the topic we have with us in our studios Dr. Amarjeet Kaur. Dear friends, uh, Dr. Amarjeet Kaur is a prolific professor and we believe that we are going to learn a more a lot more from her through this session too. So let's welcome our guest Dr. Marjit Kaur once again. Hello ma'am, welcome back. Thank you Geetika. Uh, welcome back viewers and very good afternoon to you all. Uh, let's begin with the practical aspect of trial balance. I will you know, take a very simple small uh, problem and then gradually we will proceed to a bigger uh, you know, case or question. So uh, let's take this first uh, aspect or case, small case let. Have a look at the slide please. It says a trial balance is made up of list of debit balance and credit balances. Which of the following statement is correct? I just want to brush up whatever you have learned in the last 30 minutes so far. It says number A, every debit balance represent an expense. B, assets are represented by debit balances. C, liabilities are represented by debit balances. Income is included in the list of debit balances. So you need to be good here that you know if what should be the correct answer for that you should be fundamentally correct that which particular type of you know variable or very element has which kind or which type of balance debit or credit balance. So first statement says every debit balance represent an expense this is not true because we have uh, even assets having debit balance right so this statement cannot be true the second statement was assets are represented by debit balances which is true because assets as well as expenses they both have debit balance so the second statement is true obviously c and d is not true they are false but let me just discuss with them uh, with, with you liabilities are represented by debit balance i would know this is kind of reinforcement of the concepts and liabilities as i said for times they are having normal balance as credit balance so this statement is incorrect and the last was income is included in the debit balance no income means sales revenue income means you know uh, the credit balance this is the liability of the business whatever they have earned towards owners okay so this is having credit balance as normal balance so only the statement number b was correct let's move forward let's have a look at this slide now it says xyz has following list of balances from his general ledger at 31st october 2005 Sales are 250,540, opening balance 9,649, inventory, right? My, then purchases were there 1,42,958, expenses were 34,835, non current assets, which is a carrying amount, is given 63,960, receivables are 31,746. Payables are 13,864. Cash at bank is 1,783. Capital is given 12,525. So question is, what is the total of the debit balances in the trial balance at 31st October 2005? So we have been, so let's understand the question plus. First, we have been given couple of account balances. Right? As it says, we have a list of balances given in the and this list has come from the general ledger. Okay? So, this couple of account balances are there. Now, if we have to prepare, the, uh, prepare a trial balance, we should be having clarity on type of accounts which you know, it belongs to and then knowing that it should go on the debit side of debit balance side or credit balance side. We are going to have two columns separately. One column would represent those accounts which are having debit balance as a normal balance. The second would be those accounts which are having as credit balance as normal balance. So let's take the first item. First is sales. Sales means sales revenue. So where should it go to? Well, that's what we have to see. 
so sales is a income is a revenue and revenue as an as an item should go to credit so it should have credit balance the second item is inventory inventory has always debit balance inventory is a current asset so it should go to debit balance right then we have purchases purchases also pertains to stock raw material right you may have purchased raw material or you may have purchased semi finished goods so purchases again they represent you uh, you know your debit balance the the fourth one was expenses so i am not referring to amount amount is because we are not preparing a trial balance with these values i am discussing i am helping you to you know uh, gather your thoughts on this that how should we look at the information given so that is the only objective for this particular question so expenses are always having normal balance as debit so this amount should go to the debit balances right then we have non current assets assets either current or non current this would be having debit balance only right so it would go to the column pertaining to debit balances then the next item given was receivables so i am discussing every item one by one right so receivables are given irrespective of the amount because we are not putting amounts so receivables are you know your accounts receivables like debtors bill receivables so this is actually current asset so it should have normal balance as debit balance then we have payables payables are liabilities current liabilities so that should be having credit balance then we have cash at bank cash has always debit balance bank account may have credit balance in the case of overdraft facility otherwise debit balance and then we have capital capital should be taken to the credit side credit balances and then then what is the the question was what is the total of the debit balance so whatever we have discussed as a debit balance just total them out take a picture of this solve it as per the discussion we had in you know later so you will know the total of all those accounts balances which we discussed as debit and that should be the sum up of all those accounts should be your answer right so this is how we look at the information so clarity is required on that how you look at the information or the account balance unless you are sure because in the questions in the exams in in general you know we have been given different account balances and the clarity is needed about the normal balance that's that's why i keep on emphasizing on those five variables those five variables are the backbone of accounting system understanding their nature their responses their behavior is very very important let's take uh, this slide let's look at the slide so all those balances which we just discussed you know if you if you took at uh, take them on uh, you know on this statement which is actually the format of trial balance and they all will go on the debit balance and the total would lead to the total of debit balances so if you if we review this format just have a look we have first column which is known as which has been titled as accounts name it could be you know uh, capital it could be cash so name of the account so account name would come from where it would come from the ledger book so the ledger folio can be written for the purpose of uh, verification so this second column is lf lf means ledger folio because this account is been coming this account name would have the the name of the account from which the amount is coming actually this is coming from the ledger book so ledger book would have a ledger pages the pages are known as folios so you know if we are keeping an excel sheet if we are making a uh, if we are keeping the records in software nowadays most of the businesses would keep the software so we would have some reference point so that reference point is written here in the second column the third is debit balance all those account which were there in the last question which we just discussed that which account would have debit balance all those accounts which have debit balance you know after you deliberated decided they would be written on this side all those accounts which have normal balance as credit balance should be written on this side and the end we will be making a total here in the last call at the last row at the bottom 
and the total should conceptually match right principally we assume that there is no mistake committed so arithmetically if this matches then uh, prima facie we assume <coughs> we have committed no mistake in recording and posting there is a possibility that there are still the few mistakes are there we, we just discussed only three type of errors out of seven type of errors possible only three type of errors are possible to be identified <coughs> with the help of trial balance it means the remaining type of errors cannot be identified easily with the help of trial balance you would have to carry a long uh, analysis complete analysis of books of accounts okay so uh, having this format in mind let's take a small question followed by a bigger question now so we will practice two cases here let's take <coughs> the first case first case says a very simple case it says prepare trial balance from the following account balances of rc limited so the first item is cash account so the balance of cash account should be what so either debit or credit only two balances are possible so when i am saying cash you should be very much clear that cash is a current asset and assets are supposed to be having debit balance so this 12000 will go on the debit side here right then the capital account capital account is having 10000 so capital is a business uh, responsibility to pay them uh, pay the value to the owners back whenever uh, you know it, it is it is due or demanded or at liquidation so capital belongs to owner they have invested that so the capital has always credit value credit balance so this 10000 will be taken to the 10000 on the previous slide in the format then purchase account purchases as i said should be debit balance because purchases pertains to purchases of raw material purchases of any other so this is in basically pertaining to inventory purchases are increasing our inventory so of different types of uh, materials so uh, purchases would have debit balance so 4000 goes to debit side debit balance uh, then we have uh, mohan's uh, uh, company's account the fourth item was mohan's company account it says it is payable so payables would have credit balance only so payables means creditors so it is given in the bracket mohan by mohan as a company could have debit balance could have credit balance so since this payable is given in the in the bracket so that clarifies that this is uh, something of creditors i am talking so this amount 2000 goes on the in the credit balance side and the last item given is sales account and sales account is 4000 sales account would have which balance sales pertains to revenue sales means sales revenue right so it should have credit balance so now let's see cash was debit purchases was debit 12 plus 4 it makes 16000 right 12 plus 4 and capital was on credit 10000 mohan's account was credit 2000 so 10 plus 2 4 12 and then sales was having credit balance so 12 plus 4 16 so actually so the trial balance has matched as a simple basic thing i just i took very few examples very few you know uh, items in this case so that you could understand so there were two item on the debit balance debit balance having debit balance there were three accounts having credit balance and when we put them in the trial balance the amount matched both the sides are giving us a same amount 16000 and that is how we prepare trial balance okay so this is a small basic uh, example now we will take the second and the last case here uh, to prepare trial balance so let's take one by one uh, every single item and uh, and then we will see how the trial balances are, are uh, prepared so attempt the following balances into a trial balance on 31st march 2012 i would request you you either note down these values or take a picture if it's possible for you and you can practice later but we will discuss every single item and i wish you to be practicing by solving the example later so cash is 9200 
so cash is an asset is a current asset this was there in the last example as well so this would have normal balance as debit balance right so this would be taken on the debit balance side the fourth column in the format hope you noted down the second is trade credit uh, trade debtors 15000 is been given so trade debtors 15000 amount debtors are the people whom we so uh, whom we sold but they did not pay us they are supposed to be paying us in future so this becomes our asset right so so essentially you should be knowing what assets are what liabilities are okay to prepare tra tra and trial balance so so people who have yet to pay us in and this is in future going to, so this becomes my asset i have to recover it from somebody so as a business this becomes my asset so this would have normal balance as debit balance the next item is rent rent generally you know it could be having a credit balance as well if to be paid but then it should be outstanding or so so rent is uh, going to be debit balance because this is an expense for you you have yet to pay pay for it or you have paid for it irrespective so rent is something is an expense a normal balance of an expense account is debit balance so this will go to debit balance side of the trial balance okay then we have stores stores means you know we have consumables stores pertains to all those small things which are you know bought in uh, in plenty they are kept in the warehouse or in the store and they are issued when demanded so since they are very uh, you know small amounts uh, they are uh, kind of uh, you know small small items not very expensive even so stores are consumables things which are consumed on daily basis so they and since there are couple of things which are consumed for example stapler pins are there uh say uh, say some refill is there small pens are there so we put them together under the title stores we do not put them separately so store tends to you know material basically which is consumed during the production process or uh, in the operation process otherwise at office or uh, selling uh, fun, you know uh selling department sales department so stores are basically assets only stores are those assets which uh, which are of uh, not very specific nature so we put them together so stores should be treated uh, as the assets are treated okay so assets should have normal balance as debit balance so keeping uh, this in mind we should be putting this value in the debit balance of the trial balance so stores of 18000 would be taken there after this the next item is salaries payable salaries payable is my liability i have yet to pay right had it been salaries then it would have been you no know, expense and would have been debit balance salaries payable becomes my liability i have yet to pay and liability should have credit balance so please be very careful now this is a, because i said this i next next uh, this case i would be having a little you know important items then the basic one which we did the, in the last slide so salaries payables are uh, you know your liabilities which you have to meet up in in future so this would have a normal credit balance as liabilities should have the next thing is insurance insurance uh, expense insurance is generally as an expense nothing given debit or credit of course it is an expense so expenses should have normal balance as debit balance so it will go to the so 3600 would go to debit balance uh, column that is fourth column of the trial balance after insurance we have other expenses of 5500 so other expenses means certainly is an expense irrespective uh, either this is a rent expense or or salary expense or wage expense they all should be having normal balance as debit balance the next item is land 10000 so land as we know is a non current assets all assets either current or non current would have a uh, debit balance as its normal balance so this land would go to debit side of the trial balance 
depreciation 800 uh, depreciation is an expense for the business and applying the rule of expenses we should be <coughs> debiting uh, we should be carrying this value to the fourth column debit balance of the trial balance the next item is accum uh, accumulated depreciation so accumulated depreciation is something you know when we keep it aside uh, to be charged when the when the asset is been sold we do not subtract the amount of depreciation from the asset rather we keep on accumulating under one heading and we keep a separate account for it so these are shown in the liability side not in the you know and expenses have debit balance but accumulated depreciation being not charged to, to the asset it would be shown in the uh, credit balances side this is something important you know as the salaries payable were important accumulated depreciation is another important amount because this, this is something you may you know commit a mistake if you don't pay attention so 2400 would have credit normal balance uh, then we have salaries salaries payable and salaries I have purposefully taken you know these two items salaries payables were having normal balance as credit but salaries would not have have credit normal balance salaries are expenses they have been incurred they have been paid so this would be taken to debit side to the fourth column whereas salaries payable were taken to the fifth column of their format so I showed you there were five columns uh, okay uh, so there, uh, there were there was uh, there were four columns right I'm sorry so so this would be taken to the credit balance this is a fourth column and the rest of the expense items would be taken to the third column debit balances then salaries is going to the debit balance side that is third column motor vehicle and the next item motor vehicles are assets to the business it would be taken to the debit balance uh, then we have trade creditors Trade creditors are liabilities, they are current liabilities out of trade, you bought supplies from them. You know, trade creditors means you uh, manufactured something or you traded something from them and you man or if you are in a manufacturing company, then you bought some uh, raw material for, for the purpose of using it in the production process. So that would be uh, your creditors means your liability, which is your current liability. It would be taken to the fourth column, which is representing credit balances. Okay. Then we have cost of goods sold. Amount is given 54,000. Cost of goods sold is an expense. It would be having normal balance as debit balance. This is the expense of production. So basically cost of goods sold is accumulation of all expenses pertaining to production. So we will debit that and we will take it to the debit balance side. Then we have <coughs> the next item advances for creditors. So we received advances. So advances received means it is something for against which you have yet to deliver something. You have yet to perform some function. So we, we received advance from customer is basically your liability and liabilities are having normal balance as credit balance. So it should go to the last column of the trial balance in the credit balance side, right? So then we have sales. Sales are revenues. Sales is given 90,000 in this example. I hope you have noted down and sales are always having credit balance as its normal balance. So it should be taken to the credit balance, the fourth uh, column of the trial balance. Second last item here is drawings. Drawings are, you know, withdrawals by owners. So if capital has credit balance, it would have the inverse. It should have debit balance. So capital and drawings are in inverse relationship. Drawing is something the owners withdrew and they are supposed to pay you. So drawing is representing actually the credibility, the, the owner's uh, liability towards business because owner took away certain amount which was in the business, he is supposed to pay back, right? So it should have, a, so it is, the, it is the liability of the owner but a set for the business. So it should have debit balance. So as the liability, so this is another important exam, important item in the in the uh, 
uh, agenda in the in the question so the very next item is capital purposefully i have taken drawings and capital both so as i'm saying drawing should be having debit normal balance because it is it becomes asset for the business business has to recover why i'm saying so because principally business and owners are two separate entities we know very much, very well uh, under the you know generally accepted accounting principles it is the very uh, you know form uh, important and foremost uh, principle that owners are separate uh, entities whereas business are separate entities so if owners has given something uh, to the business it is taken as capital as it is it is a liability of business towards owner so capital would have uh, normal balance as credit so that will go to the credit side the fourth column of the trial balance and the drawings would have inverse relationship it would be taken as an asset because owner has to pay back to the business so it would be taken as debit balance and it would be taken to the third column of the trial balance so with this if you put all these values together uh, your trial balance should be ready uh, you should be actually having uh, uh, both the side being matched if no other mistake has been committed so i purposefully i am not showing you the answer i just want you to you know take a note of this discussion and then put these values in the debit balance side or the credit balance side i uh, you know i assure you because this question is very much correct it has been tested by me so debit balances if if you have uh, you know captured it well should match to the total of the credit balances so this is how friends we prepare trial balance hope you are able to comprehend it well i explained it in length uh, and you should also be able to identify that what all errors we are not able to identify even after preparing the trial balance but there are certainly three errors which we discussed uh, you know where your account these two balances trial balance debit balance and trial balance the credit balance the fourth column and the third column will not match and those are the three situations which will help you to analyze that either of the three is the possibility that why the debit balances of the trial balance are not matching with the credit balances so hope uh, you could uh, understand this topic well thank you very much for being with me for this one hour thank you With this note, thank you. And thank you so very much for giving us this productive session on trial mm -hmm. balance. Mm -hmm. Friends, if you wish to give your feedback for this particular lecture, do write to us at info.cec at nic.in. We are going to upload this lecture on YouTube soon, so you can have the glimpses of the lecture the number of times you wanted. So keep watching us, keep writing us. We would be meeting again soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Kitika. Thank you, viewers.